Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. TSMC's U.S. factory has attracted worldwide attention. This is TSMC's first overseas high-end chip factory project, and it is also a key deployment for the rise of the U.S. chip manufacturing industry. Prompted by the United States, TSMC has placed important semiconductor equipment and talented engineers in the United States one after another. So what is the layout of TSMC's American factory? TSMC's participation in American manufacturing, how should China respond? The overall situation of TSMC's U.S. factory has been determined. During the process of TSMC going to the United States to build a factory, there has always been concern in the industry, that is, whether TSMC will become USMC after it arrives in the United States. Although headquartered in Taiwan, China, the United States has always had ideas about TSMC's resources such as technology and talents. When the United States repeatedly invited TSMC to build factories in the United States, TSMC initially responded coldly, but gradually began to have enthusiasm for building factories in the United States. Not only is the factory construction progressing as scheduled, but the layout is also increasing. On December 6, TSMC held a relocation ceremony for the U.S. factory that had completed infrastructure construction, importing the first batch of equipment transported from Taiwan into the factory. At the ceremony, CEOs and executives of major American customers such as Apple, AMD, and NVIDIA attended the scene to serve as the TSMC platform. It was also at this ceremony that the overall situation of TSMC's U.S. factory was determined, and the development tone for the future was set accurately. It turns out that TSMC is not just building one wafer factory, but two. TSMC has also increased its initial investment target of 12 billion US dollars to 40 billion US dollars, and its annual production capacity has also increased from the originally planned 240,000 to 600,000. It can be seen from TSMC's announcement of the construction goal of the U.S. factory that it intends to put most of its production capacity in the U.S. However, due to the incomplete industrial chain in the United States and the shortage of talents, TSMC directly transported equipment from the headquarters to the United States and dispatched 500 engineers to the United States for support. This kind of layout is incompatible with TSMC's indifferent performance at the beginning, and even Morris Shang has repeatedly emphasized that he is not optimistic about American chip manufacturing, thinking that the cost is too high, and building factories in the United States will only be futile. Just when the outside world thought that Morris Shang was a sensible person, a reversal occurred. Morris Zhang first announced that he would set up a 3 nanometers factory in the United States, and then at the relocation ceremony on December 6, Morris Zhang made a speech, which refreshed the outside world's perception of Morris Zhang. Morris Zhang said, I have long hoped to build a semiconductor factory in the United States. Now that TSMC has a new factory in the United States, this time we are fully prepared. Morris Zhang's statement is completely contrary to his previous statement. As the founder of TSMC, Morris Zhang knows very well that the U.S. chip manufacturing industry has been silent for decades and forced chip manufacturing will only face huge costs. Therefore, Morris Zhang's previous speech against the establishment of the factory seemed very rational,
But now that the overall situation of TSMC's U.S. factory has been determined, Morris Shang, uncharacteristically, began to follow the trend. Perhaps realizing that the trend of globalization has changed, and only orders from American customers can keep TSMC's long-term revenue, Morris Shang chose to compromise in the face of reality. TSMC's participation in American manufacturing, how should China respond? For various industries, manufacturing is the foundation, especially chip manufacturing, which is the cornerstone of the development of the technology industry. TSMC has mastered the world's leading chip manufacturing technology, just as the United States wants to improve the chip manufacturing industry's capabilities, trying to place the chip orders of American companies for local production. TSMC, attracted by U.S. customer orders and high subsidies, eventually opened a factory facility in the United States. Now that the relocation ceremony has been successfully completed, the future development direction of the factory is also very clear. From infrastructure to human resources, there will be a tilted change. Judging from the direction of the United States' attention to the chip industry, if the rise of the chip manufacturing industry is realized and the world's major chip production capacity is mastered, it may not be difficult to guess what the United States wants to do. At that time, who can get the support of chip production capacity and who can get the supply of high-end chips, the United States can easily make a decision. People in Taiwan are worried that TSMC's headquarters will be hollowed out and the United States will restart the development of manufacturing. With the participation of TSMC, how should we respond? In fact, the country is also accelerating the development of chips, with directions in terms of talents, design, and manufacturing. Talent is the key human resource for chip manufacturing. Chips are man-made, not created by God, so it is very important to grasp talents. Integrated circuits are listed as a first-level discipline in China, and major universities have established integrated circuit colleges one after another to use high-quality teaching resources to cultivate integrated circuit talents and fill the talent gap for the industry. In terms of design, Ali, Huawei, and other domestic manufacturers are adding RISC-V architecture. Ali has launched a variety of RISC-V architecture processor chips and has also developed a high-performance chip development platform Wujian 600. Architecture is the development foundation of the chip design industry. Domestic manufacturers continue to cultivate architecture technology, which is conducive to the progress of the design industry. In terms of manufacturing, SMIC has built four 12-inch wafer factories in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Tianjin, with an investment of more than 170 billion yuan, aiming at increasing production capacity in the 28 nanometers chip process. For the chip manufacturing industry, if we can grasp the industrial chain links such as talents, design, and manufacturing, I believe there will be a different industry structure. The development of the chip manufacturing industry in the United States seems to be in full swing, but if you think carefully about the large number of chips produced in the United States, who should you sell them to? After all, the United States still cannot do without the support of the consumer market. If the United States does not sell chips now and wants to sell them in the future, the initiative may be on the consumer side rather than the supply side. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share. Thank you.